So the show is about um, a broken family, and 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 the 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 I guess the premise is um, the the mother of of a family of four dies, and her uh, daughter uh, comes back home after an absence of uh, 30, 25, 30 years, and uh, comes home to her estranged brothers to embalm her own mother because she is a funeral director. And so over the course of that week where they're all grieving and preparing the funeral and she's embalming her mother, this, the secrets of the past just resurface and they sort of, you know, um, embark on a sort of a quest for truth. All the films, we, we were at a sort of a, not schedule, but it's just we were shooting in the fall cutting in the winter and then post-production and then always ready for either Cannes or Venice, but uh, never in January since we were shooting late summer or um, in, in the fall. So, it's, and so we were never invited because we never submitted anything before. Uh, so it's a first. And I'm really happy because it's, um, well, I think, all, I think my films have been sort of uh, not oddly released, or if at all, in the States. So it's sort of market that scares me and that I don't really know so well. So it's great to be in the festival, you know, here. I mean, so my films have been huge failures on the market. We don't, we don't, Quebec people don't really, we, we, we don't go to the movies a lot. It's not culturally something that we do as much as French people, for example, do. Um, so there's no certainty. It's, 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 I don't know. It's, it's always a sort of a, Catch twenty two is is that a can yeah. it, no, well, catch twenty two but uh, it's just I I don't know it's it's no I think the world is changing and I did this show because in a way I it was the pandemic and I was writing this and um, it sort of benefited me in the way that I, I I you know I was alone with myself and I could reiterate a lot of things about how I approach this business and this work and my profession and, and art and, and and my life in general and it's just. The, the, the realization was that I don't want to spend two years of my life making a film that no one will see and that won't be bought here in the States. So I thought, you know, we were all at home and we were isolated and, and, and I think we all turned towards streamers and that sort of content because we were just looking to be entertained and not, you know, feel the, the it was just, it was scary when it, when it happened. I'm, I'm still talking about it because I don't think it's over, but it's been, what, three years now? But when it first, when it started, it was just really a lot of unknown, you know, it was, it was all new and I was, we were all turning to content and, 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 and TV shows and I had seen the show in the summer of 2019. So it's a year, play at first. Yeah. Uh, uh, the show. Yeah. A play. Sorry. It was originally a play. And, uh, I thought, yeah, let's, let's do a TV series so that we have, we might have a shot at, you know, reaching people and, and for people to see it so I, I might find an audience better than if we get on that whole path of making a independent film and then finding the you know the, the, the money to do it and then going to a festival being destroyed in a second might happen here though but uh, anyway this show arrives I think at a right moment in my life and says a lot about where I'm at and where where I'm headed and um, no I believe in and just to you know loop back just to conclude on your on your question about you know independent filmmaking and everything I, I I believe in independent filmmaking and I believe in independent filmmakers and filmmaking in general whether it's independent or bigger or I, I I believe in it it's just that I'm sort of taking a different path and and I've ended a sort of chapter of my life of making films and I'm I'm starting to develop new interests and I want to explore new horizons is all um, it's really interesting, like our period of time, because you can really see like the two total opposite. Like at first, they are really, really close, and then after this like event, everything changed. And since like this, um, this um, douleur vive, huh? douleur vive, um, like oh, vivid uh, like pain or yeah. something. <laughs> since like this trauma. Trauma. tragedy trauma. happened. Trauma. Like trauma. recently, vivid pain is beautiful, though. Yeah, yeah. vivid pain. <laughs> <laughs> so, will be the title they are of my broken. <laughs> vivid pain. <laughs> and then, so it, it was really interesting to. And it's, all, it's it's very interesting to see like what happens to these characters. How a secret that can seem so, you know, um, 
banal or anecdotic can actually completely change the course of, of a whole family's life and even affect those who didn't go through that period, like the character that uh, Xavier plays in, uh, um, in the show. So it's, it's really about um, the problem, like communicational problems. Um, even though they love each other, there's just like this wall that's built between them and um, yeah, how, how to start communicating again when there's something that's so present when the elephant in the room is just, uh, you can't, you know. I played the character in the theater as well and um, it, 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 his whole work uh, in um, script writing, adapting the play, um, was done, you know, he would send us the scripts and we would uh, talk about them and, you know, we would just go eat together and, and learn to know each other and build this um, this very strong um, relationship, a bond between the two of us. But on set, like when once we get on set, that's where his magic happens. He's, you know, he he's a, a captain. He makes everybody like in all the departments feel like they are so important. And he knows the cinematic language in such an amazing way. I've never worked with a director who understands how all these elements coexist. So it's it's very enthralling and it's extremely motivating for everybody to, you know, you get home and you're just like so high because for t the past 12 hours, everybody has just been like <gasps> so engaged and happy and we work in joy and nobody screams and there's so much love on set. So we just want to give him all that we have because he does that with us.